Um, Sean, a really cruel way to, to end the, a really good cup run. How, how do you feel right now? Uh, yeah, it's, it's one of them things, you know, penalties, it has to be decided some way. Excuse me. Um, I thought the performance was another strong one. We didn't find the true moments of quality in the, in the very end of uh, lots of good moves, getting in really good positions, excuse me. But I'm not going to over-question that because obviously lately we've been very good at that. Uh, but the general performance was very strong again. Having to change the side, having to move people, you know, people accepting it and uh, without question. Jared, I thought, was excellent playing at left back. Jimmy Garner going higher up the pitch, tremendous work effort again. Um, Ghana, second half particularly. You know, there's still some very strong signs about what we're doing. Unfortunately, it doesn't pay you back tonight, but it will do, as we've seen, and it will do over the rest of the season, as long as we stick with them principles and keep delivering performances like that. For quite a long time, it looked like it probably wasn't going to be Evans. Like, how pleased were you that, in the face of the adversity, the injuries and things like that, they managed to find the way again, better obviously providing that moment? Yeah, I mean, it's a, a scruffy good goal. You know, you can't, they can't all be amazing goals. You know, it's a scruffy moment, but it's a good finish. Um, he was effective when he came on again. I think he's beginning to get back to that that player that arrived here. I think, you know, that, that I spoke about it when you're almost overthinking it. Now he's not. He's just playing raw and he's playing from his, from his instinct and I'm enjoying that. Um, you know, but inevitably you go out of a competition. I think I've made it clear with my intention with the teams that we've put out even tonight. You know, it's tempting with all the, the, the risk and reward of injuries and all that kind of thing. Um, but it, it goes against us tonight. Another game where I thought we played very well and very strong. And just with the way it ended, obviously there'll be a lot of emotion. Will there be anything that you say to, to Idrissa or Amadou? No, no, no. You've got to be, if you're brave enough to get up there and take one, then, then you've got to be brave enough for the consequences. So. No, not at all. They're brave enough to say we'd, we'd practice them. They'd practice them. Stone did a good job of getting it all organised. Um, so, yeah, they're, you know, they're, you, you do everything you can, but the moment of truth comes, and if you're brave enough to take one, like I said, you've got to be brave enough if it doesn't go in. Hi, Sean. Did you practice, practice any penalties during the week? Uh, I just said that. <laughs> we practised them, yeah. We practised them for every round, and including getting practice today. So Steve Stone had all the stats and all the facts, reminded the players, and then got them ready to take the penalties. What did you make of uh, Amadou's effort? Well, that's the, everyone's got a style of a penalty that they think can score. His record's been very strong in all the rounds and when we've practised them. That's his style. We're look, looking a bit leggy today, maybe the schedule catching up on you. No, I thought we were tre tremendous physically. I'm, I'm sure I'll get the stats through. I think they'll be very high again. They have been all season. Um, so very pleased with that and the, the physical side of the game because we are a bit stretched. But players going out there again, delivering high, high physical level performances. You're touching distance from the last four. Do you think it's a missed opportunity in this, in this competition? Well, you can't, it's like I say, it's a cup competition. That's why that's why they're like they are. You know, we certainly took the game on, tried everything to to get you know take the game. Um, similar in the sense when we played them in the league, actually, when we played Fulham, I thought we were excellent and we dominated the game. But couldn't find the killing, uh, killer moments, and I thought it was a similar kind of feel. The stadium was great, the the fans' atmosphere, everyone's you know taking whatever comes our way, and we're taking it, we're taking the knocks, and we're getting on with it. And I thought we did again today, as I've mentioned, changing the team, changing the shape. Still taking on uh, the game uh, with the right mentality to go and win. Sean, you mentioned Steve Stone had all the stats for the penalty takers. Just wondered, was that like the main factor in who was chosen to take the first five, or was it more of a no? The first question is one? always who who doesn't want to take one. Simple as that. Because you need to want to take one. Police say the whole group said they'll take one, but the point is you need to know that first. But the point is we had a background of who scored what in the other rounds, and you know, in training you understand. Um, and getting it in readiness, you know, and I think everyone around this country has learned about penalties down the years, obviously. Um, and I think, I think everyone's, well, we were certainly ready. I think the players are ready. Like I say, it's the moment of truth. The ball's there, you've got to put it in the net. Can you do anything in training to, to replicate what you get out there? It, it seems no, I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, having taken one myself in a big game, I don't like to mention it, 50,000 in the stadium, a couple of hundred million around the world watching it. Um, you know, and, and sometimes you, you get lucky. I never took another one, by the way. And just on the injuries, are you expecting any kind of guys that missed out tonight back for the weekend? We'll see. I mean, the next the next three days are going to be really important. We'll see that. Make sure there's nothing from tonight, of course, because we are a bit stretched. Um, yeah, so we'll see. And on just on Ducore specifically, likely to be back at the weekend or longer injury? Probably not the weekend, but going forwards, we're hopeful that it settles down quickly. Super fit, as you all know. So we're hoping his body, uh, which it seems to, you know, my experience and knowledge of him. Um, and his knowledge is a, is a good healer, so we're hopeful that it settles down quickly. Cheers.